Let's show you the structure of the abdomen that will help you understand the approach to the source abscess or to the kidney. So here is the vertebral body, here is the neural canal, here are the transverse process, the lamina, the spinous process, the lamina of this side and the transverse process here. And what you see here is the thoracolumbar fascia. So one from the middle of the anterior surface of the transverse process, the other from the tip of the transverse process and the third from the spinous process converts into the thoracolumbar ligament and this gives origin to the three muscles of the abdomen the transverse abdominis the internal oblique and the external oblique the external oblique doesn't attach to this fascia at all so these are the these are the muscles that are attached to this fascia the transverse abdominis the internal oblique splits into two and ends in the linea alba and in between the two splits of the internal oblique is the rectus abdominis the external oblique fuses with the anterior slip and the transverse internal transverse abdominis with the posterior slip now here is the sacrospinalis muscle and here is the quadratus lumborum and here is lying your sauce, iliosauce and outside is the latissimus dorsi. Now here is the subcutaneous tissue and fat and this is the fat. Now fascia transversalis lies the inner surface of the transverse abdominis comes up to here lies the sauce goes back and closes the kidney and goes to the kidney of the opposite side so the kidney is here and this is the position of the sauce abscess here is the sauce abscess so when you approach the sauce abscess of the kidney you divide skin and subcutaneous tissue you go in between the posterior border of external oblique anterior border of latissimus dorsi you divide the thoracolumbar fascia and you are at the sauce abscess here if you want to go to the kidney you have to divide the fascia transversalis the renal fascia and you are at the kidney so this is the surgical approach to the sauce abscess and the kidney which you must remember now I will show you this lumbar triangle of Petit which is formed between the posterior border of external oblique and anterior border of latissimus dorsi. Here is the iliac crest seen from outside, the posterior superior and the posterior inferior spine, the greater sciatic notch, anterior superior and the anterior inferior spine and the pectineal eminence. Here will lie the sacrum here will be the sacrotuberous ligament and the sacrospinous ligament and what we are seeing is that this iliac crest we will make this iliac crest in three dimension ending in the iliac tuberosity of the external lip and ending in the anterior superior
So this ilia crest is convex in the anterior two third, convex outwards, and concave outwards in the posterior one third. The posterior one third is divided into a lateral half and the medial half, and the anterior two third has got an external lip with the iliac tuberosity. With the iliac tuberosity has got an intermediate lip and has got an internal lip. On the internal lip is attached the transversus abdominis. Then the internal oblique and on the external lip is attached the ilia, the external oblique. So this is the posterior border of the external oblique muscle. On the inner side is attached the quadratus lumborum and the, on the outer side is attached the latissimus dorsi. So here is your latissimus dorsi as you see from outside and here is the external oblique. Inside this triangle bounded by the I bounded by the iliac crest, the posterior border of the external oblique and the anterior border of latissimus dorsi. This triangle is called as the lumbar triangle of Petit. You will find that the posterior half you will see the thoraco lumbar fascia and in the anterior half you will see the internal oblique muscle because the internal oblique and transverse abdominis are both arising from this thoraco lumbar fascia so this is the lumbar triangle of petit you retract the latissimus dorsi backwards and the external oblique forwards. You divide the thoracolumbar fascia and you are into that area of the sauce abscess and the kidney. So this is the approach to the kidney or the sauce abscess.